everybody, I'm Christy Jordan with SouthernPlay.com and I'm so excited to be here to read you another story time video. I always enjoy our time together. And today is a special day, so I have a special book to read you. Guess what today is? You don't know? Well, it might be. Is it some of yours birthday? Maybe somebody's having a birthday today. Maybe it's just a great day today. And those are all wonderful things to celebrate. But this is a holiday that we can all celebrate together. Arr, it's National Talk Like a Pirate Day. Oh, me hearties, I've got a tale of a tall tale to tell you today. You're going to enjoy this one. Before we get started, though, do you like me talking like a pirate? Or do I just sound silly? <laughs> I probably just sound silly. But that's okay, it's fun to sound silly. Before we get started, do you know what you've got to do for me, me hearties? Aye, that'd be right. You've got to give me a little wave. Ah, thank you. I always wave back. Oh, wait, I forgot. I I always wave back. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we have Pirate Pete's Talk Like a Pirate. It's by Kim Kennedy and illustrated by Doug Kennedy. And I'm going to help teach you some pirate things so you'll be all ready for today to talk like a pirate. Are you ready? Okay. Pirate Pete's Talk Like a Pirate. Pirate Pete had the most amazing ship ever to sail the high seas, but he needed a crew. Not, not any old crew would do, however. I needs me a pirate crew, Pete told his parrot, and I know just where to find one, Rascal Island. To Rascal Island we go, cried the bird. Ooh, I wonder what Rascal Island is like. But we know you can find rascals there, so, hmm, handy place. Pete spun the wheel toward the sea of mischief, and soon his speedy ship had reached Rascal Island. Look at that. It looks like a neat place. I don't know if I want to be surrounded by rascals, though. Pete dropped anchor in the bay, and then he hung a sign across the ship's bow. Buccaneers wanted. Look, you see? Buccaneers wanted. Before long, a boat filled with rascals rode up to the ship. Pete rubbed his hands in glee. They were the dirtiest, most mischievous, and sneaky-looking scallywags and scurvy dogs he'd ever laid his eyes on. See, you can call somebody a scallywag or a scurvy dog. Those are pirate terms. But it's pirate terms. It's name-calling, pirate style. So we don't like to do name-calling very much, do we? We like to do what my daughter calls nice name-calling. You can say, you're a nice person, you're a sweet person, you're a good person, you're a person who makes me happy. That's nice name calling. That's fun. One by one, the rascals climbed aboard the ship. Listen up, mateys. Oh, wait, wrong voice. That's a parrot. <laughs> Listen up, mateys, announced the parrot. If you wants to sail with Pete, then you've got to prove you, you've got what it takes. Pete nodded and declared, You needs a peg leg and an old eye patch, a fierce looking hook and a beard you can scratch. You got to load a cannon and know how to fart, but most of all, you got to talk like a pirate. Do you think they know how to talk like a pirate? They look a little bit piratey to me, don't they? A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, says Pete, and I sees you've got a peg leg, hook, and an eye patch. And that beard of yours, does it hanker for a scratch? It is quite itchy, answered the man, especially during the summer when the weather tends to be sultry. Blow me down, bellowed Pete. You don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. I didn't think he sounded very piratey either, but I wasn't going to say anything. And there he's walking the plank. As the man splashed overboard, Pete hollered, You should have said, when the sun's ablaze and me beard gets to itches, worse than a bucket of sand down me britches. Next, ordered the parrot. <coughs> <coughs> it's hard doing this pirate voice. <coughs> mm. <coughs> okay. Pete squinted at the rest of the rascals and said, you gots to be stubborn and mighty cranky. You gots to be dirty and awfully stanky. You gots to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, you gots to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete. And I see that you're plenty dirty and, st and dirty and stanky. But are you stubborn and cranky? Oh, indeed, replied the rascal. Sometimes I'm very irritable, especially when I don't eat my breakfast. <coughs> Doesn't sound very party, does it? Shiver me timber, shouted Pete. 
You don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. And there she is walking the plank. Let's see. As the rascal went overboard, Pete cried, You should have said, I mean it's a shark that's stuck in a tub when I have not scarfed down me morning grub. Next, squawked the bird. Pete glared at the rascals and said, You got to love treasure. Why, it's your duty to plunder ship and shore for gleaming booty. You got to load a cannon and know how to fire it, but most of all, you got to talk like a pirate. The <coughs> rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete, and judging by the golden rubies you're floating, I reckon you've done some plundering in your day. That is correct, said the rascal. I've misappropriated a number of fine jewels without permission. Blamey, cried Pete. You don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. Okay, he didn't sound like a pirate at all to me either. As the rascal leaped overboard, Pete shouted, You should have said, I've, I've pilfered loot on land and sea, and no man say so has ever stopped me. Next! blared the parrot. Pete shook his head. He had finally lost his patience. You got to trim the sails and mind the deck. You got to be brave in case of shipwreck. You got to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, you got to talk like a parrot. The rascal walked forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete. But is you brave? Because no little livered seafarer is going to sail with me. Now, this guy looks piratey to me. Does he look piratey to you? I can assure you that I am extremely courageous. I will conduct myself with valor at all times. Confound it! shouted Pete. You don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank! He didn't talk like a pirate at all. And I was really disappointed because I thought he would. See him walking the plank here? As the rascal dropped overboard, Pete yelled, You should have said, I'm n I've not a yellow-bellied bone from me head to me toes. I'll stand brave upon this ship wherever she goes. Can you believe it? Pete moaned to his parrot. Out of all them rascals, not a one was fit for me crew. Ah, tis true, squawked the bird, by the powers. There's no more than a bunch of squiffies and sprogs. Not one of them fit to go a swashbuckling and plundering for pieces of eight upon the briny blue on this here vessel. Wow. Sounded kind of parody, didn't it? Hmm. Pete blinked. Wow. Why, you talk just like a pirate. You're all the crew I needs. Where anchor? Aye, aye, said the parrot, and off they sailed. Back to the high seas went Pete and his bird. A pirate always gets the last word. They looked for a crew so that they could hire it. But blimey, no one could talk like a pirate. <laughs> Wasn't that a fun story? <laughs> so if you want to talk like a pirate today, you say, Arr, ahoy, me mom and dad. You're the greatest parents a child ever had. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I love you very much. And if you get a chance, um, look down below and read some of my other story time videos. Um, we have a lot of fun on all those. And be sure you have your mom and dad or grandma or granddad or aunt or uncle or brother or sister or whatever adult is watching you right now. <laughs> Leave me a comment below if you enjoyed this story time video and I'll try to bring you some more. I love you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.